Hello guys, it's Andre from YouTube and today I'm gonna show you how we made our new song Send together with Dina. In the Instagram story I asked if you guys would watch a making of Send and 43 people said yes they would watch a making of scent so i would be quite disappointed if there would be no 43, 43 likes so please hit that like button i also asked you guys if you have any questions on the song and somebody asked how we make that plug and the plug is quite simple the plug is just basically a saw wave and a sine wave. If you listen to it on solo mode. This sound already has a lot of attack, but I thought like when making this, ah, we need more attack. So I added attack, like this layer here. Together it sounds like this. It's, it's much sharper now, but I was thinking like it needed more. So I added this attack layer and I don't know why but somehow I was thinking I need more attack <laughs> like I forget everything and this is the other attack layer but it's not only an, an attack layer it also gives some groove there another element of this plug is the bass it's on a, on a different patch. It's just a saw wave and a sub with a sign. If you haven't already, I would really recommend you listening to this on headphones because you can hear it way better. Then I added some ear candy, kind of. These are the, the ARPs. You're probably hearing things now you didn't hear when you just listened to the song by itself. But now you're probably surprised. And there are even birds in it. Some vinyl noise. And the snips. I won't dive too deep into the effects and stuff because it can get pretty advanced really soon. So I will just show you the elements. And if you have any questions like how did you process those claps or I don't know, you can just ask me in the comments and I will maybe like write it or show it in another video. Oh, and then even more like ear candy. It's um, one string on one note that just keeps getting louder. It, ad it adds a lot of tension. And the most important thing, of course, the vocals. Those are from Dina. She's a British singer-songwriter. I sent her the background track and then she just sent me back her voice. A cool message. You can listen to this. I keep my head down, don't I look around. Afraid of being noticed that they might see a frown. I just smile and pretend like everything is okay. And for the pre chorus, I added this um, string and piano. And for the chorus slash drop, I don't know. I, I've never, I never really know how to name the sections because yeah verse is, is simple but pre-chorus and build up and drop i don't know just i have my definition for them the most important thing here on the drop is probably the bass i mean except the vocals and the bass consists of several layers sub the high bass and another layer, an attack layer. 
and all together it sounds like this. So it's just the layering that makes it sound really full and complete. And then the brass, it con also consists of two layers. It's this and this. One deeper and one like higher and together they sound like this. And there are like some ear candy slash fill synths in there. So it's all about the little things, but it's not that huge project. I didn't overfill it here. It's also a ghost kick here. Then these guitars. Just as small fills. And now let's go to the drums. The kick, like the most important drum here. Then I layered the kick with a... Oh, this is just a sidechain trigger. That's some advanced stuff I won't go into. The claps and the shaker. It's interesting here, I have claps. And here, to the claps, I added these snips that have a lot of reverb, just to fill it up. And then again, the strings, the high strings here. Some crashes. And after four bars, some shakers and some heads and another funny thing in the drop i'm not sure if any of you noticed it is that it's so loud in the mix you probably heard it and were thinking like what the fuck if you listen to it in the whole mix now and like want to hear it you hear it really well Yeah, it's just about these small things or these cowbells. The pitch up just to add a bit more tension until it goes back to the verse again. And in the verse, it's not really different from the first verse, the second verse. The whole world was in a dark just some drums that are different. There's a guitar arp in the second build up. And then this, the drops are pretty much all pretty the same. Then there's the bridge. There's one interesting thing there again. It's that this synthesizer in the bridge is the same as in the verse. Like this synthesizer is the same as this. If I would turn this all down, it sounds like in the first. But I have it like this. It sounds completely different. Okay, that's it on this song. And I also got some more questions on Instagram. One was how to get the right volume of mix so it isn't too quiet. Okay, I'm not really sure how you meant it, but I think you meant how to get the song like the overall volume of the song right. And this is done in the mastering. The mastering is just like you put the overall volume of the sections right and then you just boost it with a limiter. Maybe it's also a bit too advanced now, but overall it doesn't really matter how loud you make your song in your DAW, like for me in FL Studio. Because on the streaming services like Spotify, they run it into an algorithm and this algorithm measures how loud your track is and then it boosts it or lowers the volume accordingly because like this every song on Spotify has the same volume because it would be quite unfair if my song would be like 
three, four, five decibels louder, people would perceive it as a better song because louder is like subconsciously better. And then there's another question that was, how do we find our melodies? And this is mostly the same for me. I can just speak for myself and a bit for Niels. Me, I just go to the piano roll and I just do stuff. I just lay out some notes. Maybe I, I will look like first I make the chords mostly and then I will um, look at the notes of the chords and then I take some of them and then mostly it inspires me and then some more notes emerge in my head. Or sometimes you get a melody in your head and then for me I need to be quickly and go to the FL studio because if I sing it into my phone, I won't be able to distinguish any notes like a day later because my singing is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> if you have any more questions or if you have some feedback, I would really appreciate some feedback what you didn't like about the, this making of or what you like. If you have watched it till here, I really appreciate you guys. So have a great day. Goodbye.